everyone. My name is Tina Dockin with Tina Dockin Unleashed. I do not have the star of the show, Gabby, here because we are in Nebraska and she's in Tucson. Um, but I found these wonderful friends of mine that I see every year at the Purina booth and they own kennels and train dogs. So I want to get their perspective. It's maybe going to be five minutes because they have to go on stage soon. But I'm going to turn it around and see how good tech I am. All right, you guys, explain what you have, your kennels. Tell me all about your kennels, first of all. So we run training kennels out of northern Oklahoma. We take a couple of different classes a year and train just pointing dogs. Okay. That is our specialty. Great. And you don't want to add to that no, at all? But don't. you also have kids, though. Talk about your, you have two twin, you, I mean, you have twins, which makes two. So talk about your twins, too, because people are family you know, they're going to have family dogs because they have family members, human family members. Right, yeah, we have eight and a half year old twins, Gage and Reagan, and um, they are a very integral part of our operation. They're part of washing buckets and, and cleaning kennels and feeding dogs. And They've been feeding dogs since they were able to walk. So now our, our nightly routine is they help feed dogs and they're wearing skates, so it's kind of like Sonic used to be, where they deliver the food on skates. But so part, so if anybody gets a puppy then, they, their kids need to be responsible for feeding, right? It's good to incorporate the kids in everything. Yep. Yep. Good. Um, I had a question in my brain and, and it flipped off of me. Um, oh, I know. What is the one thing that you wish when people get a hunting dog puppy, what is the one thing that you really want them to focus on from both of you who want to hear? One thing. Or one or a couple things. So whatever you think would be really important when they bring that puppy into their family. I'll go first. The one thing that I would like everybody to focus on is the dog they want two, three, four years down the road because that's who you're shaping. If you start developing that individual the day you bring them home, then you're, you're going to be successful. But it takes a lot of time and a lot of, a lot of dedication. Right. And, you know, I think do just do something with your dog. You know, it's a, it's a puppy and, and everybody loves a puppy. And uh, you want to pet on the puppy and play with it. But you need to have some structure with that puppy. They need to learn how to learn. They need to be around um, environments so that they can they can adapt and, and bounce back from situations. Learn how to mitigate stress. And the way that you get that is just is exposure, just having them do something. I think well, that was more than one thing. That's okay though. We're we're good with that because this is not very serious but people want to hear your opinion and and I don't even know that I mentioned your name in the beginning Ronnie and Susanna Smith what are the name of your kennels if they want to check out your kennels Ronnie Smith kennels awesome and these guys are top-notch pointer trainers so check them out and thank you guys for participating in Tina Dockin Unleashed thank you Tina <laughs>